Hi Liz, so this is Coordinate Systems and this is a presentation that I've clipped out from a, a bigger presentation that I give for, for the basics of GIS. But this one just focuses on coordinate reference systems. So hopefully this will be useful to you. Right, so there are essentially two main types of coordinate systems. And a, a, a coordinate system is a reference system used to represent the locations of geographic features within a common geographic framework. And there are two main types. There are spherical coordinate systems and then projected coordinate systems. Now, spherical coordinate systems, um, they basically use a three-dimensional surface to define locations on the Earth's surface. Okay, so we've got a three-dimensional round shape and a spherical coordinate system uses a system to define positions on the Earth's surface. So let's say we've got um, a location in the Midwest, in the, nor in the in North America somewhere. Then what we have is a system to define the latitude and longitude, and then obviously where those two intersect, that's the location of, of your position. And how it works, uh, the reference r referencing system works by using the, if, if you position yourself in the center of the Earth and you look out towards the equator, then the angle between you and the equator is zero. Then if you start looking up towards the northern hemisphere and the north pole, then an angle will start opening up between you and the equator. And in this instance, to our location, the angle that opens up is 40 degrees. So then where it intersects that latitude, it's 40 degrees north. And the same for, for west, where the Greenwich Meridian is considered north. And then as we move west, the angle starts opening up. And when we get to 95 degrees west, that is the longitude we're looking for. And where those two uh, longitude and latitudinal lines intersect, that's where our point is. So we now have a system to describe uh, positions on the Earth's surface and describe the shape of the Earth. Right. So what is a, a geoid? So a geoid is the actual shape of the Earth. Uh, it can be described as a geoid. It's basically like an irregular sort of potato shape, which is influenced by gravity and then also the rotation of the Earth. And an ellipsoid is an equation used to approximate the shape and size of a geographic coordinate reference system. So the ellipsoid is a mathematical equation which basically describes that geoid shape um, as a geographic coordinate system. And it's not perfect, the mathematical equation, because the geoid is quite a funny shape and it's very difficult to get a perfect approximation of that shape, so it's not 100% perfect. So what you have is something called a datum. Now what the datum does is it's, it basically defines a position of the mathematical equation or the ellipsoid relative to the center of the Earth. And the different datums are used to get the best possible fit for the shape of the Earth in different areas of the globe, depending on where you are. So the datum chosen will depend on your location. So if we're looking at ourselves down here in South Africa, we need to choose a different datum to try and get a best fit. And the datum we use in South Africa is called Hartopias Took 94. So the datum basically shifts the position of an ellipsoid relative to the center of the Earth. And with us shifting our datum down to Hartopias Took 94, you can see that we get a better fit for Southern Africa. But you wouldn't use our datum for Spain, for instance, because there's going to be some issues there with, uh, with that projection or with, with that datum. Okay, so that was spherical coordinate reference systems. Now we'd also talk about projected coordinate reference systems. So a projected coordinate reference system is any coordinate system designed for a flat surface such as a map or computer screen. So here we've got our, our globe and then if you imagine that globe as a wire frame and you put a light bulb in the middle of that globe and you turn that light bulb on, then what will happen is it will shine out through the wire globe. And then if you position a flat piece of paper or a plane next to that globe, then what happens is the light will project through the wire globe and onto the flat plane. And that's essentially what a projection does, is it projects the round shape onto a flat surface. 
Okay. And there are different types of projections. There's the planar projection, where it's just a flat piece of uh, or a flat plane that's held up to the surface of the Earth. Then there's cylindrical, where the the way the plane is actually wrapped around the Earth in a cylinder. And then you can also have conical, where the flat piece of paper is wrapped up in a cone and then also positioned on the Earth accordingly. And the cylindrical coordinate systems can also be further divided into three systems. There's transverse, where the cylinder is popped on its side. Normal, where it's just left as is. And then oblique, if it's at a slight angle. Okay, so those are cylindrical coordinate reference systems. Right, so now there's something um, we need to take into account when talking about cylindrical um, coordinate reference systems. And that is the line of tangency or the line of contact. It's basically the point on the cylinder that touches the globe. Okay, and, and at that point will be the least amount of distortion. So we will use different um, longitudinal lines as a reference depending on where we're working in, the, in South Africa or in the globe in particular. Okay, so what happens is if we think back to our wireframe with a light bulb shining out through the wireframe, then the portion of the Earth that's intersected is reflected by this red piece here, will then be projected onto the cylinder, which is the plane. And you can see what happens is it's actually representing a far greater area. So, so it is not correct. We have a large amount of distortion. The blue area is the actual um, projection but it's the actual lengths are, or the, the, the measurements are for the red area. So what happens is you get distortion, and so the further you move away from your point of contact, the greater the distortion will be. And that's why we would try and use a longitudinal line as close to our study area as possible to reduce the amount of distortion, which will affect our area calculations perimeter calculations and, and uh, length calculations, etc. So that's, uh, that's why the line of tangency uh, becomes important when you choose your LO or your longitudinal line. Right, so in Cape Town we'd choose 19 degrees east and in Pretoria you might choose 29 or 27. I know East London's 27. So as you move further east you would use that longitudinal line. Okay. So a coordinate reference system used to is used to present represent locations on the Earth's surface within a common geographic framework. You get spherical, and spherical coordinate systems have an ellipsoid and then a datum, and then you get projected coordinate reference systems. Now projected coordinate systems are actually based on a spherical coordinate reference system, so every projected coordinate reference system will be based on an ellipsoid and a datum that represents some sort of sphere. So you have to have the round shape before you can project it onto a flat surface. So bear in mind that every projection is based on a spherical coordinate reference system. And then the coordinate reference system will have a projection. How was it projected onto that plane? And then also uh, what line of tangency was used? What is the point of contact where your plane touches the Earth? Okay, so a projection might look like this. We have an ellipsoid, which is WGS84. So WGS84 is a mathematical equation that they started using fairly recently, and it's a more up-to-date ellipsoid, quite an accurate one. Then there's a datum, and for South Africa, we would use Hart hook 94. And then the projection is transverse Mercator. It's a cylinder popped on its side. And then the line of tangency we must choose for our study area and for Cape Town, we would choose 19 degrees east. So you can see um, there are four things that make basically make up our projection and our coordinate reference system for projected, or in this case, a, a projected coordinate reference system. And that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, I hope that was useful, and I hope my sound worked out this time. Give me a shout if you have any questions. Cheers.